Today, police in Akron, Ohio, released a heartbreaking video of the fatal shooting of an unarmed black man. Now, the shooting has sparked outrage in the community, and leaders are calling for calm while the investigation runs its course. Here's Elise Preston with more. Officials in Akron, Ohio, called for calm following the release of body camera footage showing the death of Jalen Walker. Police shot and killed the 25-year-old as he ran from them. The video shows the moments leading up to the tragedy. An officer at the wheel of a police cruiser tries to pull Walker over for an unspecified traffic violation. Walker does not stop, setting off a chase. Police say a shot was fired from his car shortly after the pursuit began. Minutes later, Walker pulled over, then ran into a parking lot. As they approached, eight officers opened fire. More than 60 rounds struck Walker, who was declared dead at the scene. Akron Police Chief Milet confirmed that Walker was unarmed at the time of the shooting. When you see it in real time, it's very hard to distinguish what Mr. Walker is doing. In the still photos, there's a picture that appears for, to uh, to all of us that Mr. Walker is going down to his waist area. The incident has sparked daily protests in Akron. Eight members of the Akron police force have been placed on leave pending an investigation by state authorities. They've got to be ready to explain why they did what they did. They need to be able to articulate what specific threats they were facing. And that goes for every round that goes down the barrel of their gun. Akron law requires all body cam evidence to be public within a week. Elise Preston, CBS. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. And it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, all, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh and Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechachadash. Double honor to our apostles, those great millstone. Shalom, Wakasah, Allah, Habakyar. Wish that peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there, teaching the word of truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Omar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Come back at you another video. Um, and for brothers that don't know, uh, this is uh, one of the main uh, camp pages. G uh, GMS Cleveland, uh, Judgment Shall Come By. We also have GMS Cleveland, uh, Feed the Flock. Um, I don't, I don't go, I try not to upload or go live on this channel because, uh, this is the second, uh, page that we had to make on this particular channel because they deleted the old one and, uh, they gave us strikes and stuff like that. So, um, I have a personal page that I go live on and I upload, uh, the, the page is called, uh, Prophesy to the End. So just, you know, just in case brothers didn't know, uh, matter of fact, throw this up real quick, man. Um, talking about that. Um, yeah, man. So going back to the point, man. Um, yeah, talk about the curses, man. It says, uh, "Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field." The field is the world. When you read that in uh, the New Testament, it says, uh, "Curse shall shall thou be, curse shall uh, be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, and in the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Curse shall be, uh, thou be when thou comest in. Curse shall thou be when thou goest out, man." So, yeah, this man, uh, Jalen Rose, uh, which happened here in Ohio, which is uh, about a 30-minute drive from Cleveland, um, he got shot at uh, 90 times. He got hit 60. And uh, the officers, they got put on administrative leave. If you, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a paid vacation um, until they sort out the uh, situation. But nonetheless, man, this is just another example of the curses and how you Israelites, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, you are... Um, uh, living out the curses man the, the, what i just read is an example of your life and um and what you go through on a day-to-day -day basis man you live in doubt as the scriptures say in the same chapter when you read further down and uh furthermore man you is like you will get no justice nor will you get peace man until you have by um comes back man so i want to get uh one more video uh clip real quick man um let me see Want to find the one about the uh the moms and shit. Yeah, here we go. Hey there, Colorado. You're probably tired of car insurance commercials with like talking animals or whatever. Hello, friend. 
Yeah, we bit. start with team coverage out of Akron today. We got a lot of news that's been happening this afternoon. A Manny Abraham is standing where a small group of protesters gathered to support Jalen Walker, who was shot and killed by police after a chase overnight Monday, and has words from his pastor. But first, Walker's mom spoke to 3 News investigator Marissa Signs exclusively this afternoon. Autopsy records show 25-year-old Jalen Walker suffered over 60 bullet wounds after leading police on a high-speed chase through the city early Monday morning. Police say Walker fired two shots during that chase. Marissa Sines joins us live from Akron. Yeah, you see how they switched it up, man? All right, this was the, the, the previous video that I played was more um, up-to-date. Mm -hmm. um, it's like about that. This one is uh, a little bit older. But they, they, they on this on this clip they said he fired two shots on the other one they you know what I'm saying they they didn't say nothing about him firing shots you know what I'm saying they said he had a weapon you know what I'm saying and then uh, he got uh, he led the, the police on a high speed chase he got out and um you know uh, you know obviously they fired shots at him but they didn't say nothing about that in the other video so you know you, you you know you really can't believe what you see on and hear on TV man so really you know what I mean. At the end of the day, man, is allegedly, you know what I'm saying? I'll say that, but... More details, Marissa. Betsy, J. good evening. We were able to speak with Jalen's mother and sister here at this church behind me. It's their family church. Now, today during their interview, it's very apparent that their state of being was just riddled with overwhelming shock and emotion. Now, in these first pictures that we are getting of Jalen Walker, 25-year-old Jalen Walker, you can see him with his mother and his sister, Pamela and Jada. They both say they talked every day with Jalen, ending every conversation with, I love you. Jada tells me Jalen knew a lot of people making an impact on all of them, but he was also reserved. She says he was a quiet guy until you really got to know him. That You're right, man. This, this, this dude was a full-blown nigger. That's why they say when they learned it was Jalen who had been shot, they became overwhelmed with emotional confusion. I'm just profoundly sad. That's all I can say. I have never been so sad in my life. And I wouldn't wish this feeling on anybody. It's a bad place to be. It's a really bad place to be. Someone who doesn't have a history of any kind, no bad blood in him. When we all leave here today, he's not there. Can't turn back. Now the walkers... Now, this is not the original clip I wanted, but this is okay too, but in another clip when you watch about the, the mother, and then uh, I believe that was his sister, they was talking about why this and why this had to happen. Well, it, it, it happened because y'all by Shemel Shah ordained it to happen. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 10. And that shall come to pass when thou shalt show these people all these words, and they shall uh, say unto thee, Wherefore have the Lord pronounced all this uh, great evil against us, or what is our iniquity, or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our power? Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord, and have uh, walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. It says, And ye have done worse than your fathers, for behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, which is mine, the imagination of his evil mind, that they may not hearken unto me, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, you got to let them know, man. When and they ask about why is these things happening to them, you got to let them know, man, because your fathers disobeyed Yahweh by Shah. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Because you, you have done worse than your fathers, man. So yeah, man, these things happen because you niggas is being wicked and you and you refuse to obey Yahweh by Shah. You refuse to uh, take heed unto uh, what's being written in the scriptures and you, you, your idol worship, your idol worshiping. You know what I mean? A lot of our people are into our idolatry. You know what I'm saying? They into all type of other uh, gods and deities, man. So you got to understand, man, this happened because of your own doings, man. Period, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, hey, you know, I'm just leave it at that, man. Um, after I'll get one more. Um, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 5, uh, verse 23. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. Uh, they have revolted and gone. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our power that giveth the rain, both the former and the latter, 
and his season, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have separated away these things. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay, they lay wait as he that sit of snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Yeah, man. So look, man. Look, man. The scriptures say what they say for a reason, man. Among my people are found wicked men. You know what I'm saying, and it's because of your iniquities that um that drive you away from your, that 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 drive you away, have turned you away from uh, uh from you know the, from these things, man. Yahweh Shemuel Shah is pronouncing all this evil against you because of your own doings, man. So hey, don't feel bad for these people, man. You know what I'm saying, these niggas deserve it.